Ooh, it's almost time. 30 seconds of contemporary dance begins now. seconds of contemporary dance is mandatory every hour on the hour at Tosh.0. And yet, no one of my staff is getting any better. It's almost like they don't want to do it. <laughs> All summer, I've been enthralled with Derek Huff's show, World of Dance. Oh, it gives me the goosies. I love this kid. He had some issues with his own skin color. He was adopted by white people, but he was amazing. And he really started to flourish toward the end of the season. Uh, this was the first juniors couple to ever get a perfect score. All right, well, this last one might just be a school shooting drill. <laughs> My favorite dancers this season were eliminated for, dare I say, being too groundbreaking. And no, this isn't gay. I mean, they are, but this isn't. It's art. And no amount of conversion therapy will convince me otherwise. <laughs> Nothing like a good, deep kiss when you're winded. <laughs> we all know what made Tosh.0 the number one show in the first place. Contemporary dance. <laughs> yeah. That's why I hired these guys to be our official contemporary dance crew. Yeah. You're welcome. So every episode this season, you are in for a treat. Take it away, Tosh Point Flow Boys. As you guys know, I've been trying to model my career after Oprah Winfrey, except for the part where she started her own network, and it's hemorrhaging money, <laughs> and gets no ratings. <laughs> but I just found out that she makes all of her employees participate in transcendental meditation sessions twice a day. Now, I don't want my staff to turn into a bunch of hippie spiritual assholes, but I'm always looking for a way to boost productivity. So that's why every hour on the hour, we do 30 seconds of hardcore parkour. <laughs> show you how we can do it. Cute top, Ken. You're telling me that Ken Tamplin can teach me to sing like Ken Tamplin? Yeah, right. When it comes to pure entertainment, I'm the best in the biz. Triple threat. Acting, piss poor. Uh, dancing, I'm a dude, no thank you. Singing, I've had no training. Tell you what, let's see how much range you got. Okay. First things first, what kind of shampoo do you use? <laughs> Is it true that anyone can learn to sing? Pretty much almost anyone can learn to sing. <laughs> okay, cool. Other than being tone deaf, <laughs> usually larger people <laughs> can sing better, but in this case, um, you have really nice bright timbre. Ooh. <laughs> cool, keep it bright when you come down. <laughs> can you go? <laughs> 
<laughs> that sounds like a dying dog, too. <laughs> this sound that he's using will destroy the voice. <laughs> Cool. You just hold your breath when you speak, and you learn to control and mitigate the air. Hold your breath when you speak. That's right. And do not stop holding your breath until you are out of oxygen. Nope. You can At take quick point, breaths. You can take quick breaths in between. I'm running out. Nope. Look, I'm out. All right. So that is good. I think we're ready. Old MacDonald had a farm. E -I -E -I -O. And on his farm he Wait. His farm? On his farm. Well, well, then why are some people not singing that right? On that. I have on that. that. I have on this. I have, I have on, on his. I have on it. And on that farm he had a wolf. E I E I O with a. That was only one lesson, haters. <laughs> In this day and age with so many auto-tuned and processed singers like Adele, it's good to know Ken is out there. 